Gemini game. Happy Sunday, you guys. Let's see what's going on. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates with you. The rest take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit that subscribe, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Readings have been kind of quick today, so I love it. Okay, so here's that adversity. I kept seeing this when I was shuffling too, so I don't know if it's a problem coming your way, Gemini's, but let's see. Um, freedom. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. Absolutely. So freedom and forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Absolutely. Um, Gemini, so there may be something or someone you need to forgive. Seven of Cups, you got options though. Mm-hmm. You're trying to decide. King of Swords, Two of Cups. Oh, someone does want your forgiveness. Nine of Swords, someone feels bad, guilty, shame for something. Uh, you may want someone to forgive you. Gemini's could be an Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you guys might be Queen of Pentacles love it i'm seeing the three of swords here on the bottom so there could be some negative thinking going on here now someone may want your forgiveness if if you are showing up as this queen of pentacles here but i feel like uh you might not be having it whoever this is i feel like you may not be having it you may feel like the the damage is done or the damage is too much or you'll forgive them but you won't forget like you won't um like you know let them back in or allow them back in um take that how it resonates because for some of you that's the case and it may, it's, this may not even be like a love thing it could be a friend it could be a family member or something along the lines of that i feel like too that um a lot of you are kind of making a lot of head over heart decisions which we'll see if that is affecting you in any way that can also be the three of swords too like making too many head over heart decisions to where it starts to affect you um and again this could be someone in your energy as well so we'll see what's going on we're seeing capricorn and aquarius so far air and earth wow the ten of swords <laughs> the storm <laughs> The emperor, yes, in the judgment. Oh, somebody does want forgiveness. This is literally forgiveness here. Somebody does want you to forgive them. Gemini's. Wow. Um, yeah. And I feel like it, they want not only forgiveness, but they want to be back in your life or they want to be back on good terms. Um, with you someone overthinks someone overthinks with the seven of swords here and the ten of swords also someone may think of like worst case scenario all the time um gemini's the judgment yep somebody wants back into your life nine of wands mm -hmm. someone's very territorial over you like very um i don't want to say like they own you but like you're, we're supposed to be in each other's lives type of thing and again this this may not even be just a love situation like i feel like you have someone here that um now what's interesting is someone may feel like it's it it's a reach or it's a stretch because if you look in the star card she's looking up in the sky and it's the same thing for the judgment too so someone may have you really high up on a pedestal to the point where it's like, oh, Gemini will never forgive me. Gemini would never, um, you know, come back or come back around or whatever the case may be. But someone does want to be in a better place with you, like a better space. Could be an Aries. Heavy Aquarius. Um, also see Scorpio too. Yeah. So I feel like someone is just, is really just wanting to um be better or do better by you gemini's i feel like too someone may need oh thank you spirit wow 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 the death card comes out 
Scorpio energy. So what I, I'm seeing the Seven of Swords, somebody is avoiding an ending, which I keep getting for you guys. Someone trying to avoid something ending with you or someone that avoids change. Mm hmm. But I also feel like too, someone getting out of this overthinking because the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups gives me a vibe of someone that overthinks a lot. And that's what I was going to say before the death card came out is I feel like the overthinking is about to stop. Like someone's about to stop doing that, which is kind of the vibe I got in the last reading, too. Like I feel like someone it lives in their head and they're trapped in their head a lot to where they don't take any action. And again, this could be you, but I feel like someone is, is needing to like kind of move, like make a move, make moves. Um, and if this isn't love, like this could be like your career. This could be, um, you know, some goals that you have where you just kind of in your head about it and not really making any type of moves. And I feel like this person, someone here is getting more proactive or needing to. Wow, the star again. I have, I'm going to have to cover up this star. Who is this person, uh, Gemini's? Hold on, because the King of Wands is under this star card. Hold on, let me get this, because I got to cover up this star card. This other one is safe, but this one ain't safe. So let me cover her on up. All right. So we have the star here. Mm-hmm. Yes, all right. Uh, heavy Aquarius, like we, we have three Aquarius cards stacked up on top of each other. And then we have the King of Wands here. Um, lots of fire too. Makes me wonder if there's more than one person. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, someone like bossing up, trying to get some, trying to get their confidence up. Um, Gemini's. I'm seeing a lot more action from someone. This could be you. You about to be about that action. Um... Gemini's this could very well be you this could be you holy shit I believe this card came from the last in in the same place in the last reading too knight of wands sag energy ace of pentacles uh, again wow now, what I'm wondering is with this three of swords up here is if you have someone else or someone may think that that could have kept someone from coming forward as well, thinking that um, you have someone else. Like I said, someone always thinking of worst case scenario, thinking of everything bad that could happen, everything that could go wrong. And it keeps them stuck and stagnant. But someone's about to get out of that energy. Like someone here is, is like getting their confidence up. Like I said, someone feels like you are theirs or they feel like I don't want to say like I said, you feel like they're property but someone feels like you are um you belong to them <laughs> um gemini's and they're set on that someone's like set on that the idea that uh you're you're theirs and again the the head of a heart could have been this person making head of a heart decisions um and not being where they actually wanted to be you know if that makes sense they may have decided to venture off or be single or whatever the case may be or you did this but someone is coming towards you someone wants to fix something with you someone wants your forgiveness um they may even like pop up on you in your house uh, at your house at your job now i will say this okay let me say this um this is very similar to the other reading that i just did i feel like they could be there could be like um I don't want to say they're argumentative, but I feel like that's how it, it'll, it's going to seem at first. It's going to seem like this person's trying to argue with you at first. Uh, but it's just this person is really, really passionate about you. That, that's kind of what I'm getting. If, this, if that's not the case, I feel like for a lot of you, um, people may think that you're argumentative because you're very passionate in how you express yourself. Um, I feel like this there's a very passionate expression here and I feel like if someone apologizes or whatever um, I feel like they're going to be very passionate about it and so it may come off as them being upset or them being angry especially if you haven't talked to them in a while or especially if you um, you know you say I forgive you but I don't necessarily want you in my life <laughs> 
uh, which is what I kind of picked up earlier. You may not want this person uh, in your life because, again, it may not just be love, okay? You may not want this person in your life, but you were forgiven. But I feel like this person feels like I need to be in your life. Like we were supposed to be in each other's lives in some way, shape, or form. Um, and again, this could be you making a head over heart decision because your heart may be like, okay, maybe I should give them another chance. Maybe I should um, work things out with them. Maybe I should uh, open, open, uh, if I can talk, open up. This person's going to have a hard time communicating too. And it could be why they get upset because I feel like you may not understand what they're saying at first. Um, and I feel like they're going to get mad. They may get mad at you for a bit but you know i feel like you you're going to be like should i give this person another chance should i let this person back in my life for them to hurt me again um you know so it'll be entirely up to you uh gemini's but i feel like someone is about to kind of break free from from their mind and their overthinking and like i said this could easily be you like kind of breaking free uh, some of you, the forgiveness isn't about another person, but it's about yourself. You forgiving yourself so you can move forward and live the life that you desire. But if this is a love situation or uh, involve another person, because the two of cups is here, I feel like um, someone feels like their happiness is with you and the life that they desire is with you. Gemini's, but they have to take this, the necessary steps to make it happen but i do see somebody kind of tapping into this more active more passionate energy whereas they may have been at a, at a standstill or a stall it could have been something going on with them uh mentally so like i said I'm, I'm seeing an overthinker here someone that is very very trapped in their head but with the death card here it is a huge change in that like this person's mindset is changing um or yours is in a major major way going from going from being heavily in your mind to um in your body in the action so that makes sense too why i'm having a hard time getting my words out because this might be new to this person this person might be always in their head um and never really uh being about that action especially if it involves another person because i feel like this person is going to have to put their ego to the side for this to work and i feel like they are willing to do that especially if someone is wanting their forgive uh, wanting uh, your forgiveness they know that they're going to have to extend their hand they're going to have to be the one to extend their hand all right let's get a couple of handwritten i'm not gonna make this one too long because the message is very very direct and i and i love that because i feel like Whoever wants this forgiveness or if it's you or whatever the situation is or how this resonates with you, Gemini, is going to be very, very direct. And like I said, it may sound kind of like arguing um, at first to you. But yeah, it's going to be straight to the point, Gemini's. No BS, no nonsense. And like I said, someone's new at this. Someone is new at... Um, Actually, no way, y'all. No way. No way. Let me get one more. No way. No way. Gemini's. So we have baby here on the bottom, which is new beginnings, rapid growth, fresh start. I told you. Y'all, look what came out, though. Let me get one more spirit. I told you, it's there's about to be a huge energy shift. Um, between you and someone else, Gemini's. Holy shit. Now, what fell? Oh, gosh. Somebody, someone doesn't want something to end with you, Gemini's. Someone doesn't want something to end. So we have eyeglasses here on the bottom, which is about analyzing something, assessing something. This can also be about overthinking, okay? This is kind of the vibe that I get with that. So I feel like someone's getting out of that energy. Out of the negative thinking, out of the overthinking. So we have Sapphire, which is Gemini. Mm -hmm. This one is mental force, spiritual insight, hope and faith, wise judgment, power and strength, kindness, life of the party, extroverted, 
motivate, precious, valued, holy, divine favor, and rever. Love that. That's kind of the vibe I get with this star card here too, because I feel like, like I said, someone's kind of opening up. Someone's opening up to the possibility, hey, we can be together. Or if this isn't about a person, I, I can do this. I can work this out. I can figure this out. I'm seeing a shift from the overthinking of, oh my God, what if they choose someone else? Oh my God, what if they don't like me for me? Oh my God, you know, what if this bad thing happens and that bad thing happens too? To uh, you seeing all the positive things that can happen uh, from it. Best case scenario instead of worst case scenario. And again, if this isn't you, it's someone in your energy. So we are seeing a flamingos, which is Pisces. Mm-hmm. Soulmates, lovers, union, courtship dating attraction seduce long-term potential displays of affection charm it factor two of a kind alluring and je ne sais quoi I told you someone feels like you belong to them um gemini's okay so just a heads up could be a libra with this card chocolates satisfaction perfection love romance treating yourself sweet rich splurge smooth aphrodisiac the good stuff fine dining do things right that's the vibe i get with the king of swords which i said in another reading the king of swords is is has very very high integrity um so i feel like that is what the, on this person's mind um do things right celebration in elevated mood i told y'all elevated mood i told y'all all right gemini's hit that like hit that subscribe y'all thank you for watching peace out